Hi guys, so uh, pre-Everest or preparation Everest base camp, getting ready with some of my kit below. I'm just going to show you uh, what I'm taking. Uh, some of it is, I've done uh, or used before from my uh, Arctic challenge that I've done a couple of years ago. Uh, some of it is begged, stolen, borrowed, you name it, okay, uh, just to get hold of what I can. Obviously being in Singapore, very warm climate up to 33 degrees most days. Not really uh, essential that we have a cold kit over here. So I've had to get all my stuff, or most of my stuff sent over, and like I said, borrow a few bits off other people and buy the extra. So, right, what we got? Well, essentially, full of flight, we got the neck thing. And apparently, like once you get with these clips, there's no going back, okay? It's the best ones on the market. Uh, right, so we've got a big uh, bag in, obviously, to carry uh, the majority of the stuff in. I won't be uh, actually walking with this, I'll be going with my day sack. Uh, I'm not going to be taking the, the cat with me, uh, that's actually going to be staying here. Uh, but I'm taking this military uh, day sack with me, uh, just because it's pretty much been in most countries where it's been hostile. So I know it's going to do me wrong, uh, do me well, sorry. Um, and I know it kind of uh, is quite comfortable on the back as well, and it can be lugged around. In there I've got a nice big jacket uh, stuffed in, and I've got like uh, some canoe bags, like waterproof bags uh, as well, probably like the essential stuff. Uh, right, so going through, I've obviously got my first aid kit, I've got a, a blow up pillow there as well, first aid, um, loads of stuff uh, going on there, I just need to get my Diamox for the high altitude. I've got uh, two different pairs of gloves, I've got a thin layer for during the day, and a thicker layer obviously if it gets a, a little bit colder, my snood or a, a, a variety of, and a woolly hat as well. Yeah, I've got my secondary uh, puffer jacket, okay. Uh, this has come from like uh, my day back in the army as well. Uh, this is like my little palace, okay, it's full of morale. So if it does get really cold at night, okay, this is where I'll be kind of uh, heading towards and tucking myself into. Moving along, I've obviously got um, my, like, my tight socks. I want those very tight on the, on the feet. I've got some seal skins. Uh, these serve me really well and probably save my foot in uh, in um, the Arctic, okay, when my foot uh, fell through some water. Um, oh yeah, they saved my life pretty much. So a couple of pairs of socks, I'm only taking four pairs, all right, uh, uh, for the sort of two weeks really. Might smell a little bit, but I'll hack that. Uh, I've got some, a big part of some blister tape, some kinesio tape, head torch, ski poles, I've had to buy some new ski poles. Uh, just because I got a little bit angry with my last pair and bent them and threw them in the woods, but uh, I just got stressed out. Um, I've got my hydration pack, uh, and obviously here, okay, a big canoe pack as well to keep everything waterproof. I've got some big hiking boots that I've had to borrow, but I'm hoping to do most of the trek in the trainers here, like my trail shoes. I've done these before when I went in the Arctic, I actually used a pair of trail shoes, and my feet didn't freeze, which was actually good. Um, in fact, my trainers that I took to the Arctic, I melted to a stove. Um, so uh, I know the, the cold isn't really going to affect me. Next then, I've got uh, some different types of leggings. Okay, some leggings to wear during the day if it does get cold. Uh, some thinner ones as well uh, in case I'll get too cold through the night. But I'm hoping just to get away with a pair of shorts and some like uh, tight shorts as well, compression shorts. Some tracky bottoms for the evening, uh, some waterproof trousers, uh, a nice little fleece, again, uh, served me well in the Arctic. Uh, I've got a nice little skin tight, skins type top there, uh, a long sleeve top and another long sleeve top. And these actually, I've got these for the Arctic when I was actually in Sweden, okay? So it's kind of what the locals use, but it's a nice wind stopper at the front, okay? Nice breathable material, a really, really good buy. Uh, uh, wind stoppers if you want to kind of have a look how I buy Hagsloff or something like that it's not a sponsored post or anything but uh, they're really really great probably the best buy uh, out of all the kit and um, it was worth getting my box sent over from the UK just for these because they are pretty pricey as well but they're, they're pretty legendary so uh, that's pretty much most of the kit uh, I'm going to be using uh, obviously it's more about layers Aiming to keep it as light as possible. Uh, obviously, there's a few bits I haven't got there, like a pair of pants and a book and what have you. But that's it, folks. That's all I'm going to be pretty much taking on my little journey. But uh, stay posted. Keep it real. See what else uh, we get in store for you on the way up. Yeah.